So, brothers and sisters, Kamala Harris was on 60 Minutes. I believe it's called 60 Minutes. The other night, um, boy, oh, boy. Finally, an interview that pressed her, and you won't believe some of the ridiculous answers she gave. But let's just go into one of the questions about the border. We understand how there has been thousands on thousands on thousands of individuals who have entered our border specifically within the time span that Joe Biden has been president. It has quadrupled. The, the, the trespassing has quadrupled. The breach um, into the states from, the, from immigrants has quadrupled. The number has doubled. And this interviewer asked her about that. And let's look at the answer she gave this man. I've been covering the border for for years. And so I know this is not a problem that started with your administration. Correct, correct. But there was an historic flood of undocumented immigrants coming across the border the first three years of your administration. As a matter of fact, arrivals quadrupled from the last year of President Trump. Was it a mistake to loosen the immigration policies as much as you did? It's a long-standing problem. And solutions are at hand. And from day one, literally, we have been offering solutions. What I was asking was, was it a mistake to kind of allow that flood to happen in the first place. I think the policies that we have been proposing are about fixing a problem, not promoting a problem, okay? But, but the numbers the, did quadruple. And the your, numbers today, because of what we have done, we have cut the flow of illegal immigration by half. We have, have cut that? the should flow of fentanyl that? by half. But we need Congress to be able to act to actually fix the problem. You see she's trying to cut him off when he's making sense with different questions. The policy we have brought forth... Yeah, but should you have done different things in the beginning that you may be doing now? But they didn't do it. Why is that? Could it be that they wanted immigrants to come in here? Could it be because they wanted the flood to happen? Could it be because they wanted their vote in a sense? You know how many different places in different states they are allowing different immigrants to enter people's households and they're not doing anything about it? You know, you, do you know how insane that is? How crazy that is? But different states are allowing stuff like that? Can you imagine a stranger walking into your door or being in your house when you got back home? You and your family walk in the door and you see strangers in your house. I mean, really think about it for a second. Really think about it for a second. If you went to the store or you went to go visit family somewhere else in the city and then you and your family come back home just to discover somebody's in your bed laying down, watching TV with their feet kicked up. Got a cold, cold glass of milk with your ice from your refrigerator with your cup. Asking you, hey, when did you get home? Can you imagine? Because some people are dealing with things like this. We, I mean, you right here, just because you never dealt with it, don't mean it's not happening. You can search it. You can look it up. It's happening. You got different immigrants beating up police. How did we get to that point in America? Where immigrants are so okay with committing crime because they don't think they'll be kicked out of the states. When have we gotten to that place in America? And listen, I'm all for people coming into the United States, but the right way. Why? Because when you just have people just flooding in here, you don't know who's among those people. You know how many people do not like Americans? You know how many people want to take us out? I know y'all seen this stuff in Arkansas happening. With the Venezuela, the Venezuela gang taking over apartments. How in the how machine guns taking over apartments? You got to really think to yourself: How did that happen? Flood, the flood. To be honest, I don't even think we've seen anything yet. Watch when this election is done. 
You better be right. You better be tight. Be prepared to defend yourself. Be prepared to defend yourself if somebody tries to break into your place. It's getting real. It's getting real. You think that thousands and thousands of people have crossed the border and they're not planning nothing right now? Do you realize the the Boston bombers were Muslim, extreme Muslims, extremists? And that was two people who are who were already in the states. They were in the states. They lived in the states for a while. Parents in the states. I believe the parents are in the states. We're out here chilling. All they did was go to different a different country, learn different things, come back here and do damage. Let alone somebody who grew up in an Islamic country. Who've been brainwashed all their life to be an extremist coming to the states freely. Do you know what do you know what that is? Do you know what that could cause? I pray you're getting a better understanding on what stuff like that can do, what can happen because of things like that. Now, I don't say that to bring fear, but bring awareness. Be aware. Be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of your environment. I pray, I, I, you know, I pray that reaches somebody. Because some, a lot of people aren't aware. They don't care to look around. They don't care to... Be aware of where where they drop their children off. Whose house they let their children stay at. They don't care. Some people. We got to change that. And be here for your brothers and sisters. We have to truly change that. In order to do that in its fullness, we need God. Because the problem with the world is right now is too much division away from God. So we need oneness with the Lord. Amen. Let me know what you guys think about the video. God bless. Shalom.